Oh, what's up YouTube? I'm Josh Newland, and in this video, I'm gonna show you a full at-home body weight quarantine workout. Whew, that was a long title. And before I get into it real quick, I just wanna say, go get my social media a look, especially my Instagram and TikTok. I post lots of short workout videos on there. You can find motivational quotes, soccer training drills, at-home workouts, nutrition advice, more interactive content so you can get to know me better, I can talk to you more. And you'll also know when I post new vi YouTube videos. So if you're interested, if you just search up Newland Performance on Instagram and TikTok, you'll find me. And my Twitter is at Newland Perform. So thank you guys for checking that out. For the ones that already follow, I appreciate it. You know, I can only post so much on YouTube so often. So my social media I'm posting you know, almost every single day across those three platforms. Like I said, this is a full body at home workout. The only piece of equipment you're gonna need is a pull-up bar. But even then, that's only like two exercises out of this whole workout. You don't even need a pull-up bar. If you have dumbbells, it will make it better. You know, having weights will help. But again, you don't need any weight. You know, and this workout should take you about 45 minutes to an hour. So not too time consuming, but you are hitting just about every major muscle in the body. So this will be really efficient for your time. And before I get straight into it, I just want to describe how the ab workout is going to work. Ab workout, there's three exercises, and I do it like a circuit, kind of. So the first one, as you'll see, is toe touches. I do toe touches about 10, 12, or 15 reps. And then I go straight into mountain climbers. Do those for about 25 reps. Then I go into the reverse crunch twist. So that's one circuit do that three times. So, toe touches, mountain climbers, reverse crunch twists. So three rounds, you're gonna do three sets per exercise with between a minute to three minutes of rest in between, depending on how much you need. And I also want to say, warm up before you work out. I know I didn't include a warm up before this workout because I didn't wanna make this video longer than it already is, and then you wouldn't even feel like watching it. But your workout can just be something really simple, some big arm circles, forward and back, some twists in your arm. Do some dynamic stretches to just hold them for like a second or two. You know, flamingos, calf sweeps, lunges, side lunges. And then, you know, maybe some jump roping or if you have an exercise bike, ride on that for a couple minutes. Get your heart rate up, get your blood flowing. It's great for preventing injury. It's just gonna make your workout better. And it's something you should always do before you work out. So with that said, let's just jump right into it. Okay, so starting with abs, these first ones I just call toe touches. And you're going to lay flat, your back flat on the ground. You're going to bring your hands and your feet together, and you want to meet in the middle. And that's a key. A lot of people don't actually meet in the middle. And this one you're going to feel in your whole core and abs. It's a pretty challenging one. And you want to make sure that you don't rest and pause at the bottom. And if you do have to get rest, don't let your hands or feet rest on the ground, just keep them slightly above the ground so that way you're not really cheating the exercise. And that one I do for about 10 to 15 reps per set. A lot of times I'll start out like 15, then the next set 12, and then the next set 10 or something like that as the workout gets harder. Next up we have mountain climbers. This one is a great one for your lower abs. And my first about 8 reps or so, I like to drive my knee up and hold it for about 5 to 10 seconds. And then for the next about 10 to 12 reps of the set, I'll just drive fast and won't pause at all. And I like doing them this way because you get some isometric work at first, and then you also finish with some explosive ab work. And the key is to really drive your knee up. Don't do it the lazy way. Getting 20 to 25 solid reps in is way better than doing 50 lazy reps. And like I said, this one's really going to challenge your lower abs. It's also good for your shoulders. You're in like a push-up plank position. And I do about 20 to 25 reps per set with the first about 8 to 10 reps with the pause. And then the rest are just the driving as fast as you can. And the final ab exercise is reverse crunch twists. This is just the best name I could think of for them because it's basically what it is. You're doing a typical reverse crunch where you use your lower abs to get your butt off the ground. But then you're adding a little twist once your butt is off the ground which will engage your obliques. And I do these between 10 to 15 reps, depending on how tired I am at this point. And with these three exercises, you're really going to feel it in your entire core. 
So now we're starting lower body, and I'm starting with calf press here. And I know, I know, I'm using weights. I said this was body weight, but you don't need weights. This is just to make it more challenging if you want. But even just doing calf presses with no weight, just flat on the ground, will still, it's still a challenging exercise. And if you want to add that eccentric element, you can literally just stack a couple books up against the wall, and you'll get your toes higher than your heels. And for these, I do three sets of 20 reps. 10 reps, I just do with my toes facing forward. That will work the middle and the outside of your calves more. And then I have 10 reps where I'll have my toes facing outward, which works the inside of your calves more. So you're just targeting different areas of the calves. So now we're getting into hamstring and glute work here. These are just single leg hip bridges. And you want to have your foot out so that your knee is making about a 90 degree angle. And then you just squeeze your glutes and your hamstrings to lift your hips off the ground and then make a straight line with your body. And you also want to pause for just a little bit at the top so you can feel that contraction in the muscle. And for these I believe I did 12 reps per leg. And I did three total sets of this, so three sets of 24 reps, 12 per leg. And I was also supersetting this with single leg RDLs. And for the single leg RDLs, yes, I know I'm using weights again here. You don't need dumbbells to do these. They do make it more challenging. They will challenge your balance more if you're using weight. But again, you don't need them. I did about three sets of four per leg, so four reps per leg. It's an eccentric workout, so you don't really need to do a whole lot of reps or a whole lot of weight. It's more focusing on the stretch under tension and also that single leg balance. And also just the tip on form for this, just slightly bend your knee. You don't need to have it locked out to still feel the stretch, so just slightly bend it. That will be better on your knees. And if you're wondering how much weight I'm using, I never use more than 25-pound dumbbells because you don't really need anything heavier than that. It's still a good challenge at that weight. And these next workouts are more quad and hip flexor focused, but you will feel them in your glutes a little bit as well. And this one I kind of just came up with on my own. I just call it a reverse lunge. Um, split squat so you just do a reverse lunge and then you do an extra split squat each rep so you're basically just combining two great exercises into one here and I am using weights you don't need weights weights will make it harder and if you don't have dumbbells and you want to make it harder you can always up the reps you can increase the sets you can also make the split squat portion here into like an explosive jumping split squat to make it harder for you but with the weight I'm using here, I just did about three sets of ten of this exercise. Now for the final lower body exercise, I call these um, lunge jump and holds. So you're going to hold it for about ten seconds, just a regular lunge. And then you're going to jump and switch um, lunge stances, I guess you could call it. And then hold it again for ten seconds. And this is a great finisher for lower body workout. You're incorporating isometric and explosive work, plyometric, into the same exercise here, which is great. You're getting multiple things done at the same time here, and it's really going to be a burnout because you're having to hold and then explode and use whatever power you have left when you're not holding the lunge. And this is a great challenge for your balance, power, and endurance at the end of the workout, and I did this for three sets of ten. Now we're at the final portion of this full body at home workout and we're doing upper body you're going to work your chest lats biceps and triceps and also indirectly your shoulders and some other muscles as well and starting off here i do 20 clap push-ups it's going to challenge my chest my shoulders a little bit of triceps indirectly and i superset it with um, wide grip pull-ups and for wide grip pull-ups i do till failure which here was about 10 and this is a great push-pull superset you're doing the push motion with the push-ups, obviously the pull motion with the pull-ups. So you're working your anterior and posterior chain at the same time. And I repeat this specific superset twice, so 20 clap push-ups, um, wide grip pull-ups till failure, 20 clap push-ups again, and wide grip pull-ups till failure. And the last superset, the last two exercises, we're going to start with cobra push-ups. I just do about 8 to 10 reps of these. Um, you're going to arch your back and you're really going to use your triceps. You should feel a burn in your triceps because they're what's pushing you up. And just kind of hold and squeeze at the top for just about a second and then come back to your normal starting push-up position. Your hips and legs should also be off the ground and you are kind of slightly leaning forward on your toes just so that way you put more weight onto your triceps. 
And then we go into chin-ups. These are going to work your biceps and your front delts a lot more. And I also do the superset twice. So I'll do 8 to 10 cobra push-ups. And I'll do chin-ups till failure. And then again, 8 to 10 cobra push-ups. And then chin-ups till failure. And this is also a push-pull superset because the triceps are doing a pushing motion. You're pushing your body up. And then your chin-ups are doing a pull motion with your biceps. So there you have it. That's a complete full body quarantine workout. After you finish, I'd strongly recommend stretching, rolling out, stretching and rolling out the muscles you use. Um, you know, studies have proven if you roll out within 10 minutes of working out, it's uh, less likely that you'll be sore the next day. And then stretching is just important to do for flexibility and it's a great cool down. So those are always great things to do post-workout. And I hope this workout was a challenge for you guys. Um, you know, you can always modify the reps and sets and rest time. Um, I try not to make it too strict of reps, sets, weight, whatever, because, um, you know, that's kind of the beauty of working out, working out at home. You know, you can, I gave you the exercises, you can modify them, you can add more reps, sets, take away, add rest time, subtract rest time, <clears throat> whatever you need to make it the right amount of challenge for you. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you can take at least some of these exercises and try them out. This one was a challenge for me. I just did it yesterday and most of my body is pretty sore feeling it right now. You know, I really try my best to incorporate, you know, obviously almost every major muscle group and then also different kinds of workouts. So it's not all just about muscular endurance because that's what a lot of body weight at home workouts are. It's just a ton of reps, a ton of sets. So I try to combine some strength, endurance, explosiveness, isometric, like holding it, try to incorporate those different kind of exercises into this workout. And if you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe, turn on notifications to know when I post. And comment down below, like what's your quarantine routine like? What, you know, how often are you working out at home now that we're all quarantined? Go comment down below, I'd be happy to hear what you guys are doing right now. But thank you guys all for the support and I'll see you on the next one.